Yeah, it's just about time to move over to the switch over to the other video with the little entrance because I think this could be concerning like anybody. But yesterday I, I noticed that it wasn't recording and not that I didn't hadn't planned on it. I know I'm overcoming a trauma because I hate it when someone told me I hadn't planned on it. Like there's no options to have improvisation or something new. And it happened to be that way and I thought, yeah, how interesting. I mean, what if I just stop talking, right? <laughs> I mean to the general audience, whoever is listening. I, I can see in people's reactions that there is useful things in it. And all I ever want, and I'm now crying too, maybe with all of them together. All I ever want is people feel strong. But not to hurt other people, not to go to war. So cutting off the bullshit, like the, today's theme again, very much indeed. It makes me feel encouraging to... Of course, but you have to address minds that actually can capture that, right? <laughs> yeah, all my life. So, but here's one thing I wanted to say. Like, for example, pork. Usually the pork is sick, but there is no artificial thing in it. No maicena. Since the pork, just like chicken broth, when you cook it with the bones, the bones have bone marrow, whatever that is in them. If you, if you cool a good, even meat, bone, meat broth, if you cool it, it gets hard because of the jelly, gelatin. And that's really healthy. I think that's why I like chicken broth so much too. Or oh, meat broth, I like it very much. So I don't know why today that didn't use that because there's no need to use my skin, that's my point. It goes naturally thicker. And it's just like, do people do things because of their idiots? A lazy included, or do people think just hurt other people? I'm not getting it. I am simple, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. <laughs> I think I'm. Oh, that's something really important to say. I saw a little fly in there. I just grabbed the towel. Oh, here it is. I can see it now. I've never been, no, I'm intending to do both at the same time. Oops, there it is, flying and talking and thinking. Yeah, I can do that, and you can too. I've never been challenged by anybody mentally. And I never really thought that could happen. <laughs> I mean, I never spent a moment to even think about it. The only person who could intellectually, or who did challenge me a moment was Flavio. But I looked into it, and it was such a reverent bullshit. <laughs> that, whatever. So... I think it's a difference when you talk like complicated phrases because we have a lot of things in your mind. So luckily we have telepathy. That's very enticing to me. I know, I, I, I'm not scared because if I can't pay attention, which I doubt it ever happens, and then I go again, <laughs> or I ask. That's, I think that's completely rude in any circumstance that people give out the information, false information that they're listening and they're not listening. I think this is outrageous. I would never do that. Unless someone would like to belabern me, right? Like, blah, belabern mich anmachen. Right? Those people don't deserve my attention. Men and women alike. They don't deserve it. But otherwise, if I don't understand, I ask. Unless, of course, there's a crisis. I think yesterday I commented on that. When there's a crisis and someone needs to like, oh, sometimes it's not really necessary to understand it all. Just let it go out. Be there. That's a different circumstance. Venting. But you see, we don't vent in anger. At least not towards each other. In outrage, maybe, but it's always from some something outside. If at all, it could occur. I have been striving to find honesty in a relationship. And uh, let's say, find a relationship. <laughs> that, that describes it better. To find a relationship, because if there's no honesty, to me there's not even a relationship. It's just, man, what do, you, what do, I, what do I want? Honesty means a lot of things. And that also, uh, it's a space where you maybe not don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I took myself the liberty to find a space where I just don't know. So to find out. Well, 
I think the relationship, I mean, I think, I know, it has to be the absolute safe haven. Where everything is clean and everything is clear and where is the absolute security with, with your partner, with your other you, with my other I, the total security, total safety and emotions and everything. But I, 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 I point out the emotions because this is kind of the part people kind of missed can completely relax into it. Being in a situation maybe that vulnerable that it means our life to be okay with whom we choose to be with. That means that we're also intimate enough and profound enough to... Um, oh, I'm glad we have telepathy because this is really something to find the words. To... I don't know, I just think that the fact to be talking on that level is already safe, period. I don't have any concern or worries about it. The only worry I would have is not being received. Not being received. That would be like, yeah, then I'd rather throw myself from a cliff.